So we've just learned about the accelerator and that it's the key to abstract away the hardware dependent aspects of uh, GPUs, CPUs and CUDA or HIP or something. That it contains the threat state and also the device side API, meaning grid navigation, shared memory, block level synchronization, all the device side functions. So what is a device in comparison? Alpaca devices represent the actual physical devices. They are determined by the programmer's accelerator choice. So for example, if you've chosen at the beginning to use the uh, HIP accelerator, the following functions that are specific to devices will re uh, return you the, uh, for example, a list of HIP GPU devices. Uh, so you can uh, just get the number of uh, capable devices that match your accelerator. You can query for a specific device that you want to use. And you can also return a list or more precisely a vector of all HIP GPU devices. This is, uh, enables you to manage your physical devices quite easily. Each alpaca device represents a single physical device and it contains device information. So you can query some of the uh, device information like the name, the size of the device memory, or the size of the available device memory. On some backends, it provides the means for device management. For, uh, so you can call, for example, the reset function on a device. And on GPUs, this will reset the device state, meaning that all buffers will be cleared, all running kernels will be terminated, and so on. And if you really need to, you can also access the encapsulated backend device. So there's the get dead function that will return whatever the underlying backend uses to manage the device. So I think on CUDA, this would be a simple integer, but on other backends, this may be something else. However, this is not portable. So if you call this for one backend and, and then you switch the backend, it may not work at all. So keep this in mind if you use this function. It's important to remember that device and accelerator are different concepts. An alpaca accelerator is an abstract view of all the physical devices for the chosen backend. From the kernel point of view, it contains the thread state, device functions, memory management, and synchronization. From the host point of view, it is a meta parameter for overall abstraction. An alpaca device, on the other hand, is a representation of exactly one physical device and it contains device information and the means to do device management. To sum this up, Alpaca devices enable the handling of actual physical devices. There's a one-to-one -one relation between Alpaca devices and physical devices. They are a direct representation of physical devices and they are not to be confused with Alpaca accelerators. Are there any questions? for uh, regarding the device concept. Um, hi, yes, uh, simple one thing. Um, we have seen before that the accelerator also knows the dimensionality of the problem, like if the yes. problem is going to have one, two or three dimensions. Yes. The device does not care about that or does it? Um, maybe Sergey and Renik can hop in there. I think it doesn't. Yeah, I also think it doesn't. And uh, uh, I mean, I think from the device you can maybe get the accelerator and like access it if you really need it. But I don't think there is a direct access. And I think it's also the main idea is that for accelerators, the dimensionality is not the dimensionality of the problem per se. It's the dimensionality that you want your index space have in the kernel, which is which could very well be the dimensionality of your problem. But it's generally speaking can be also different. Um, right, so so in that regard, like this index is mostly how you access indexing in kernels and how you index your buffers, maybe, uh, because then you could use you know your thread indexes for accessing the buffers. Uh, so I would assume I would just do not see what, why would you need it for a device. But of course, can, maybe can I jump in? I, I I haven't understood the the, the questions very well. I think it, the question was uh, if I can access uh, or get the, the accelerator from the device. Is this right? No, the question is uh, uh, looking at the slide you have now. Uh, the first line defines an accelerator, which is templated on the dimensionality and index. 
and then the third uh, line or this line gives you the device from the accelerator. If I have uh, an accelerator which uses the same backend device but with a different uh, dimension, do I get the same device out of it or do I get a different device from it? Ah, yeah. you get the same. Okay. Correct, yeah. But we agreed perhaps a bit not intuitive and you already even before the workshop and during the workshop got feedback that yeah maybe it's this uh, index is maybe a bit too early on into this accelerator. Okay, thank you. Any more questions regarding alpaca devices? Okay.